Chapter 15, Genetic Analysis, a conversation with Professor Eric Bischaus. In 1995, the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to Christiane nussleim volhard Eric Bischaus and Ed Lewis for their work elucidating the genetic control of early embryonic development. Their studies began in fruit flies, but have provided profound insights into the development of all animals. In this video, Eric Bischaus talks about genetic analysis and his work with Yanni nussleim volhard on their groundbreaking embryonic patterning screen in the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster. What do you think were the essential features of your um, embryonic patterning gene uh, screen that you did with Janina Slein Balhard that made it so successful? Oh, well, I think one of the things was probably that. Um, it was simpler and pared down in the sense that, uh, compared to what we thought we were going to do and compared to what the world thought was relevant for in thinking about embryos and thinking about embryonic development, what we were somehow able to do is to pare down the to a mutagenesis screen that had a couple of cutoffs. And so we'd look for things that are genes that are required transcriptionally in the embryo, such that the embryo didn't have that gene, it would die. And then, uh, then look at those dead embryos and uh, fly embryos and, and look for ones where the, there was a phenotype, meaning that you could distinguish the, that all the mutant embryos had something in common that was different from um, the random dead embryo on a, on a plate. And that thing that was in common then was our handle on what that gene was actually doing. The shared features of all the dead embryos in a particular mm -hmm. stock kind of defines why that particular gene is needed and, and therefore in a certain sense ultimately what that gene does. So being simple, okay. having the simple, you know, have, paring things down to one or two simple criteria. Um, before that, people had tried to look for mutations um, that affected embryonic development, but they felt an obligation to, with the first lethal they had, to section, do it at all different stages, look at everything, rather than staying really simple, because staying really simple then allowed us to do the second thing, which was to, I think, to scan through the entire genome and something that wouldn't have been possible if we'd really focused on any particular gene but by having the simple criteria the simple set of cutoffs in the beginning we could work, do a screen that actually said okay we're going to try to ask look for all the genes and um, I think had we not set up simple criteria at the beginning it wouldn't and, uh, nothing uh, nothing would have worked. We would have been still stuck with the first 200 lines or the first 100 lines. I don't know how, how many. Uh, we, we, at what point, if we hadn't been driven by simplicity, where we would have been distracted? Who knows? Mm 